Hi everyone. Guess where I went? <laughs> I went back to Value Village. I got another big thrift haul to share with you. If you're curious to see what I got <clears throat> to get uh, my craft on, then stick around. So I went to Value Village yesterday and I also stopped at Dollarama. So that will be a different video. Start with... Oh. Okay, let's start with uh, the books that I picked up. I got this really lovely book. Uh, on Women and Friendship, a collection of Victorian keepsakes and traditions, blah, 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 blah. It was $5.99, $6 minus 30%, well, 30%, um, so uh, it came out to $4.20 uh, for this book. And I was looking for things that I like Victorian style eph ephemera um, and coming across actual Victorian ephemera. I have some, I have a little bit, but it, it's very hard to come by and it's usually expensive because it's usually like considered antiques now. And um, so I saw this book and I thought, well, this would be a great book to cut up for the vintage ephemera. But now that I have the book, I think it's too beautiful to cut up. <laughs> this is my problem. I buy used books to cut up for collage, but this one is in excellent condition. <laughs> and I don't, I, I can't see myself cutting down this book up. OMG, my goodness. Oh, oh, I, I'll have to think about that. I'll have to look into the copyright of it. Maybe I could scan some copies if it's for personal use or not. I'll, I have to check. I'll, I'll... <laughs> it's, it's too beautiful to cut up now. Okay. Uh, another book I found was the... China, this one, uh, Hollywood at Your Feet, China, this from the, the story of the world famous Chinese theater from the silence to Star Trek. So uh, having been to California, I've been to the Chinese theater. I've, no, I've seen it. And my husband and I love movies and we love uh, even watching documentaries about movies and the history of movies and all that. So I saw this book, and it's in very nice condition. It was uh, $5, <clears throat> so I, I got it for three fifty dollars actually, which I think is a really good deal. And I'm thinking I might just uh, give this to my husband as a, like a, a stocking stuffer. It's too big to put in the stocking, but I mean, it, it was so inexpensive and uh, yeah I think I know my husband and I will have fun looking at this book and um, maybe eventually uh, I'll be brave enough and cut into this one for the pictures and stuff <laughs> okay <coughs> I saw this art history book, The Illustrated History of Art, and this one I said to myself, I, I'm going, this one I'm really going to use for my collage and art because it's a glued in book and it's going to come apart very easily. I mean, the spine is cracking, some of the pages are about to fall out. Um, and but it was six ninety nine. So um, oh, that means it was four twenty. I think 
four dollars. I, th I paid like four, four something for this book. Uh, but it's a it's a big book. It has a lot. It, the illustrated history of art. I have some art history books that <coughs> I have. Um, some hardcover history of art books that I will not cut up. They are just too beautiful. I, I had them when I studied in fine art, and I am not going to cut up those books. So this one will be a cut up book just because of you know it was gl it's glued all glued in and actually oh no look at that it is sewn. Oh I see. Okay, this is one of those books. Oh this is funny. It is so all the signatures are sewn. Yeah, it's all sewed, sewn in, and then glued into the spine of the cover here. Oh, but it's a soft cover book. Man, and I'm sure this book was very expensive. Yeah, uh, see? The, the cover's coming off so easily. Yeah. Okay, this will be really cut up. So there's, it's beautiful, a beautiful, but beautiful images, beautiful, beautiful stuff in here. Okay. <clears throat> so when I consider how much I pay for those uh, cut and collage books on Amazon, getting this for four dollars and twenty cents is <laughs> pretty cheap. All right. Another book I got for the images was this one. So this one was $3.99. Um, <clears throat> so I've actually, this book came out to $2.80. And it's Victorian Cottages. I love that. I just love, and I just thought this will make, will be great, 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 great for uh, art journals, junk journals, mixed media, collage, all that lovely stuff also great reference pictures for drawing and painting there's there's multitudes there's i i love this style uh i very much love the victorian style of art too i mean i'm a big fan of renoir and, and monet um, and degas so yeah this and Andrew Clayton Payton is the uh, author here, or the artist. <clears throat> yeah, Andrew Clayton Payne, formerly head of British Watercolors and Drawing at Christie's, is now, oh, he's a dealer. Oh, he's not an artist, but he was a dealer. And just a collector of watercolors. So, uh, that book will be great for my collage work and then my favorite Auguste Renoir this book again I paid two dollars and eighty cents for this lovely book there we go it's a notebook it's it's a notebook Auguste Renoir notes and uh, yeah it was two dollars and eighty cents for this lovely notebook and I intend to turn this into a special I I'm gonna try to keep it together but I would like to glue in a whole bunch of other things that I have oh this is my favorite painting um, the luncheon um, I would like I've been collecting Renoir stuff for a while and I hope to make a um, an art my own art book my own art glue book um, on this artist so that will be fun that I have 
I actually have a notebook now. Okay, the other book I picked up, and it's funny because the last time I was at Value Village, I saw this book, and I left it. But when I got home, I kept thinking about it. And so two weeks later, I'm back at the store, and the book was still there. Lucky me. So, or maybe it's a second copy. I don't know. <laughs> it's called The Pattern Book. And this one, I it was $4.99, so I got it for $3.50. And I thought this would be a fun book to have for my collage work and mixed media and everything I do with paper crafting. So it there's some home decorating how-tos and then this is all patterns. Patterns to help you decorate your home interior. So look at that and I'm just looking at this and I'm thinking this is wonderful collage fodder wonderful stuff to use to make all sorts of wonderful embellishments to use in backgrounds. You, we can make bookmarks out of this, we can make clusters, pockets in our, in uh, some art books, glue books. Oh, there's so much that can be done with this. Look at all these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful prints. So, yeah, that is why I got this book. Okay. <clears throat> That's enough for the books. <laughs> Those are all the books I picked up on this trip. Now, along the wall where they have the bags for... Uh, $5.99, $6, but I paid for $4.20 Canadian, which is what I paid. I had <laughs> got this bag, and in this bag is a bunch of really neat items. There's this paint set. This is a watercolor and glitter paint set. I have bought this exact same set, and this came from, I think it was a Dollarama. It might have been Dollar Tree, actually. I don't remember now. And it it's just watercolor with some glitter in it. It doesn't have a lot of glitter. It mostly comes out, but you know what? Um, I have a I have one of these, and I had a lot of fun using these watercolors to make some backgrounds for collage work and I will do that uh, with this set too because there's not a lot of paint on here so uh, it will get used up very quickly but look what all I got for four dollars like four dollars and 25 cents I said I think I said so there are these uh, what do you call these they're they're not molds they are are they molds? Well, they're kind of like molds. See this? this? It's a raised, see the flowers? A little like daisies. And it's plastic. And this is used uh, often in food preparation for icing, for making icing, uh, uh, decorating cakes and stuff. And you would put the icing, you would either impress press this into the icing or put a sheet of fondant and um, yeah, and this is a mold for it. So you could use it as a stamp or as a mold with uh, icing for cake decorating. <clears throat> I think that's what these are because in here also there is a Wilton silicone mold and I think that is, these were probably intended for uh, cake decorating, but this same type of silicone mold can be used for our crafting. And I have silicone molds and I have used them. I have some for food that I keep only for food, <laughs> but my other ones I have used for with resin and clay and I mean any type of clay 
paper clay, air drying clay, regular clay, um, uh, the kind of clay that you bake, like Fimo and stuff. So, and you can, even the hot glue. You could put hot glue in here and make your own embellishments. Now, a mold like this, it's def a Wilton mold like this costs way more than $4.20 new. So I think I did good with this bag. So I got this mold, these two, and then there was also these this set so there's like little bows and it's really like a thick silicone but yeah and this one's more thin so and this one is for like little flowers that there's two brushes they're pouncer brushes uh, these are by plaid and <clears throat> oh yes there this pad of paper to make flowers uh, it's Leah Griffith peony flowers it says you can make six frosted paper blooms so they're peony all the paper is in here I already checked all the pages are here so it's to make these these beautiful paper flowers and um, I have made paper flowers in the past with my Cricut and uh, these ones are all cut already so Apparently there's a video tutorial included. You probably have to go look online for the information. Um, oh, and they also explain it. Okay, there's a video tutorial online, but they also give some uh, brief, inf brief instructions here. So that was in the bag. And as though that wasn't enough, a package of paintbrushes. These are brand new. So these are Bennett Premier Artist Brushes, pointed round brushes uh, for detail work, white Taclon soft, brush, soft bristles. And uh, they're round. There's, there's three pack. I'm not even sure. It's... It looks brand new. It looks brand new. Everything's still like sealed. Oh. Let's see what I got in here. Yep, everything's got their little cap on and stuff. Little paint brushes. <clears throat> so what size is in here? Oh, wow, these are great. So there's a size 5, a 3, and a 1. Uh, these, are, <laughs> these are great. These are perfect for um, watercolor. Well, they, they're, you could use these with acrylics, too. Uh, but they're great. They're great sizes to have for especially doing florals. So that... I think this is a pretty good bag for four dollars. One of the reasons that I share these hauls with you is because I'm I'm trying to get the message across that we can get great, great supplies to get our DIY on our crafting, art making, and by not and not pay a lot of money by going through to secondhand sources. And um, yeah, I mean, this brand new would be a lot more than $4.20. And now in this bag that I got, uh, and it was priced at $4.99, so I got it for um, $3.50, basically. In here, there were these two pads. This one is, uh, vel it says vellum, fine quality writing paper. So the paper, it's a, it's a vellum quality type of paper. So it's very nice, very smooth, beautiful paper. There are these two other pads. Uh, they're not full. This one's not full for sure, but they are very nice, textured, thicker weight, um, writing papers 
and they have these pretty deer on them. So, and these are Carlton decorated sheets. Um, and these are by Glenn Lotz. These are artwork by Glenn Lotz. And uh, he's a foremost wildlife artist. Right. So, this is great paper to use. This is great paper to use in all the um, crafting that I plan to do. And in the same bag, there was this little kit, The Art of the Love Letter. And uh, I had no idea if the stuff would be in here. And I am lucky it is. And inside there are some pieces of parchment paper. Uh, and little little envelopes, tiny little envelopes. It's so cute. And the, look at the paper. It's so there's these little sheets of paper, and this little bag here has has some wax, so you can melt the wax and make little seals. This came off this. This has to be glued back on, but it's a little heart seal. So you have the little little seal thing, and you can make a seal. See, I guess there wasn't a sample of one on the box, and now it's gone. But yeah, it's to make your little, make little love letters and seal them with the little red wax seal. Isn't that sweet? And there's a little book here on... Uh, <coughs> love letter writing and isn't that cute the the history of love letters so i thought this is really really cute so maybe i'll have to, i'll save this for valentine's day for my husband <laughs> isn't that cute? so i'll maybe i'll write my husband some little love letters or something like that for valentine's day <laughs> That was cute. Also in the bag, what interested me a lot were these stamps. These old time stamps. I think they are truly vintage. I'm not sure if they're remakes. But this one says important. And this one says handle with care. So they're the kind that you stamp, you know, with ink pad. And uh, I don't know if these are really vintage. But anyway, I will be adding these to my vintage stamps I have I collect stamps like this um, and I have some very old ones and I do have the the rack to hold stamps I do have two of those actually so that will be really cool and then there were some other office supplies in here that not I didn't need them but they're in there uh, there's a little stapler and it is full of staples. It's a swing line and it works very well. <laughs> There's a hole punch that sticks, so it needs a little WD-40. Um, but I will be passing this on to someone who, who is in need of a hole punch. I, I have a few, so I don't need that. And a little calculator. And funny thing is my husband recently... Uh, was in need of it was looking for calculator because the the last cheap one we had got broken and it, it just sometimes we're just practice i know we can use our phones for calculate but sometimes you just want something with fairly big buttons to do some quick calculations um so this is a uh, good timing <laughs> At this point, if the video is already at 20 minutes, I will be stopping here for this part and I will make a part two only because it, my internet is really bad and it, it, it's just easier to upload uh, two 20 minute videos than a, a over 30 minute video. I know, it's crazy. Mm -hmm.